Hi, thanks for joining me today on Amazingly Deep Thoughts. I want to share with you the one thing every teenage girl needs to know about depression. I want to share with you a story about my mom today. But before I do, I would like to get to know you, who you are, who's listening, what you think. Also, if you would subscribe, you can follow along as I teach how Christian girls can have the best life and why the Bible works. Now on to the story about my mom. She was raised in a Christian home. I think she was beautiful. She was a pastor's daughter. Her parents got along well. I would say she was probably pretty popular and didn't lack for boys to like her. She says that she didn't know that life wasn't fair until after she'd moved out of home. She was 19 when she got married. She was still a teenager. And my mom, who didn't really know very much hardship, suddenly was thrust into a place where they had to live by faith for food and for gasoline and friends. And from my memory of it, at some point early in her marriage, she went to the hospital and the doctor told her that she would suffer with depression for the rest of her life and he gave her a prescription. And he told my father, there's nothing you can do to make her happy. Just keep going on, life. Just the way you normally would. I can't imagine how she would feel to hear that for the rest of her life, she was gonna have to face depression and thoughts of suicide and fear and anxiety and yet she had these three children she had to raise. And she was a pastor's wife, and people counted on her. All of her hopes and dreams came to a halt. Isn't that how depression is? It robs you. I know that she has said that she feels like she was a failure as a mother, and that we succeeded despite her efforts and that she had days where she woke up and thought, there's no hope. Why do I even exist? This is never going to get better. I'm a burden. I'm not a blessing. My children would be better off without me if somebody else was raising them. My husband would be happier if I wasn't in bed, unable to function. But I want to tell you a little bit more about my mother. I remember the day that I called her from Bible college and she was working to support me so that I could go to college and I remember talking to her and she said, Melissa, I am so happy. She had just moved into a new house and my dad had switched jobs and she was just excited and I was so excited for her. I remember another time when I was a child coming home from school and as I opened the door I could feel the spring breeze flowing through the windows and she was dusting and she looked up with a smile in her face and I knew she was happy. My mom is actually a pretty fun person to be around. She has a great sense of humor. And I remember another time when she was teaching junior church and she told this story and it was so alive. And I just thought, man, my mom, she's the best junior church teacher ever. And when she taught church, she let me play the piano for her and I was only eight. And I had never taken lessons. I wasn't that great, but she was so happy to have her daughter play along with her. She paid for me to go to piano lessons. She took me roller skating nearly every Saturday. She has this special knack where she can get a birthday card to you on your birthday from across the country. And it makes us feel special. We know that we're loved. All this from a woman who could have given up years ago. Who when she lay in bed and the devil threw those fiery darts saying, your family would be better off without you. She wasn't a failure. And most importantly, she wasn't a quitter. I want you to take a moment and think about the lives that you could impact. Your children, your grandchildren, a friend, maybe somebody else who's struggling. Remember, the one thing every teenage girl needs to know is that God has a purpose for your life. 
And Satan wants to rob it. He wants to rob you of fulfilling that purpose by lying to you and convincing you that you can't do it. I'm telling you, you can. And God will give you the strength. And there will be good days and there will be bad days. But he will give you the strength that you need. That's what I learned from my mom. She didn't quit. And you don't have to either. There is so much more that I can say on this topic, and I will. So follow along, subscribe, and let's keep on this journey together. Keep on keeping on.